Hey guys, in this video we are going to look, be looking at the do while loop. Now the do while loop is really similar to the while loop and is basically a variant of the while loop. Uh, let me show you the structure of our the do while loop. Let's delete our while loop and write do. Uh, code to be executed and while condition okay this is the structure of the do while loop now it's really really similar to our while loop except one thing now remember in our while loop and for loop but let's just say while loop in our while loop uh, we had a condition first and then the code to be executed. So for example, say uh, we have a variable called x which equals 10. So x has a value of 10. And we have a condition uh, while x is bigger than 15, uh, say hello or document.write hello and decrement uh, x by 1. However, because uh, x is defined or given a value of 10, and uh, the condition is that x has to be bigger than 15 uh, it won't output any code so like while uh, var x equals 10 and while x is bigger than 15 say document dot write hello like that and uh, x plus plus now let's delete this code f just for now and refresh what it does is nothing because uh, there's no uh, the condition is already outside not outside but it's the condition is already false because x is 10 and x has to be bigger than 15 in order to do this in my example, I did minus minus. So it's not going to output anything. The do while loop, however, is basically before it even uh, considers the condition, it's going to uh, output, it's going to execute the code block once. Okay, so let's use the exactly the same example here. So let's use var i equals 10 and do document dot write hello uh, x minus minus and then while x is bigger than 15 and let's ref refresh our browser not home not home there we go refresh and it's going to output hello however it's only going to output hello once because just like in our while loop example the condition is already returning a false in our first go however because we are using a do while loop what it does is it's going to always 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 100 percent execute the code at least once okay even if the condition is false now that is because the code block is executed so this one is executed before the condition here is text uh, is tested which is why even though in this example the condition is false 10 is not bigger than 15 it is going to uh, write doc use uh, execute the code document dot write hello and there'll be one hello so that is the do while loop okay uh, that was a quick video on the do while loop and in my next video we are going to quickly talk about the break statement and the continue statement. We, men I mentioned the break statement briefly in the switch statement, but we'll talk about that in a bit more detail. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later.